Welcome to everyone. Um, uh, we have a small audience. I don't know, would you want to come further forward so we can all sit, sit close? Um, uh, welcome to the Euralink meeting. Um, I'm going to do a very brief introduction today because we've got two really, really interesting speakers and I don't want to take up any of their time because I'm sure that's what you've come to hear. Um, but uh, just to summarise um, the year. So, um, as you all know, we've, we've sort of focused on um, three project sites um, and I'm pleased to tell you they're all progressing or all doing extremely well. So, Lusaka... Um, has had an excellent year. Um, they're now signed off for TORP. Uh, um, Paul Anderson, who's been leading on the urethroplasty work, has just come back from another trip there and says they, that um, they are become, have become very competent at the uh, most urethroplasty work now. So uh, probably moving forward, it's just supportive. Um, Victor, who's the clinical lead, has asked for help with penile cancer and Asif Manira is going to take a small team out to help support them develop that work. And otherwise... Um, and I'll talk a little bit more about this in a minute. His aim is to is to widen. They're now training their own um, their own uh, urologists and to widen out the training which the government is introducing and, and maintain standards. So that's all going really well. Um, Hawassa, Ethiopia, again, Getch um, is single-handed at the moment, but and but and has developed um, is again competent in TORP and, and signed off for that. Um, he really needs a colleague, and he is, he, he's got a couple of people in mind, and that, that will help that centre um, gain traction and go from strength to strength. KCMC has been independent of us for a long time. We are um, going out, we're helping them with stones, and we are going out to the workshop in November, so there will be more about that. We're hoping to develop um, an, another centre with Malawi moving forward. Um, I don't know whether Charles is here. Um, but that uh, he will be going back to, to um, Malawi in January, and um, uh, Jamin and, and Glasgow are going to support him. Um, there's, I'm very well aware there's lots of other fantastic work going on, uh, and too much to mention in a, in a short summary today. Um, for me, just a couple of highlights of the year. So um, in, November, in October last year, we uh, ran a leadership course at my hospital. We had three anaesthetists and two urologists from um, developed low middle income countries came over and they had a, a month of, of training and leadership skills. It was absolutely fantastic month. They were great fun. So um, we're hoping to run that again. Well, we are going to run that again in October. Um, and uh, the other highlight was um, going to Cosexa, which was in, um, Rwanda um, and Mary and I uh, helped with exam, which was um, which was great and very rewarding as well. Um, and it was all of the um, project sites um, members, uh, urologists were at the meeting as well, which was fantastic. And the, some of the younger younger trainees came and presented with BAUS support. Um, so I'm not going to say any more except to, as usual, thank BAUS. Tough BJUI for the ongoing support and funding. Um, 